All right, and welcome everybody in, in Twitch chat and also on YouTube later for our next deck, which is four color discard. So we have four color discard, um, which we've played this a couple of times, and it's a pretty fun deck to play, to be honest, but it is so greedy on the mana. And, um, you know, like we have, especially with Kaya's Wrath, you know, having Kaya's Wrath and then having a fourth color also, like Kaya's Wrath and Nicol Bolas, it's pretty difficult to do. Um, but that's what we're going to try. So, uh, you know, like we're just like this four color control deck that um, uses, has our three win cons with Nicol Bolas, Teferi, and Angrath for the late game. And we try to get there. We are ripping up, calling this discard because we're ripping apart our opponent's hand with the help of Thought Erasures, Campaign, Nicol Bolas, and Angrath. And then the sideboard, we have Bell Haunts for some discard uh, as well against the aggro decks. Um, so that's what we got. Four color discard. This deck's pretty fun to play. Let's give it a try. They are, there are certainly hand, like games that we play with this deck where we don't get to play much magic, where our mana just doesn't work, have to mulligan too much, all that kind of stuff. There's There are some of those games, but there are also other games that um, go incredibly long and are really, really good games of magic um, as well. No, thank you. I guess so. We got all of our colors. That's a good card. Keep that. So we gotta watch. We gotta watch what we play. We can't just go watery grave, cliff top retreat. You know, we have to kind of be careful of like our of our land situation. All right, getting the Mardu mid range. Deck up, on, deck up on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, Avila, there's times I miss playing as well. But... Playing big tournaments and stuff, but... Living the stream life now. And here each and every day, and enjoying it, spending with with everybody. This is a good work day. Good work. Um, good job. It's a good job. So I don't have any basics in the deck because our man is so greedy. You just have all dual land. So um, Assassin's Trophy is just going to be Vindicate. Just two mana, instant speed, vindicate. I will keep that Kaya's Wrath, thank you. Yeah, I guess they were more scared of disinformation campaign than search for Canto, which is a, a little surprising. But you know. Oh well. We, you know, I was really, you know, like, you don't want them to just get all these free lands with, uh, with us being a discard, a disinformation campaign deck. We, we don't want them to get all those free lands. All right, Kai's Wrath away, those two creatures. We'll have another Kai's Wrath. Please, no Vivian. It's the last thing. We don't want them to have Vivian. Okay, that's, that's not Vivian. So that's, it's fine. We can deal with that. Yeah. I'll go ahead and cast Discovery and then Campaign again. Thought Erasure is a good one. Hmm. Could just Nickel Bolas. No, let's save that. All 
Ideally, we would have 11 mana <laughs> when we play Nicol Bolas. You know, most ideally, we could have 11 mana, play Nicol Bolas, and flip Nicol Bolas immediately. How are we do on cards over there? Four cards? Woo! Gotta take that Relic Seeker. That's a good card. Gotta take that Relic Seeker right in time. It is a little difficult to empty the opponent's hand when they are playing a bunch of Hydroid Crasises. Alright, as Kant is going to be able to flip this next turn. I can also just not flip Ascanta. I have the mana just to Kaya's Wrath plus Campaign. It's not a bad one. Yeah, so I'm just going to decline. I'm going to keep that right there because I'm just planning on Kaya's Wrath plus Campaign. Which I guess I, I should have campaigned first, so my opponent didn't know I was just going to Kai's Wrath. They could probably figure it out, though. Alright, so... Now, if I would have flipped as Kanta, then we would, would have been able to cast Discovery. Of course, I didn't know that we were going to have our second, our second land, which is why I didn't flip it. We get we get that one last explorer there. All right, how are we doing on mana? One, two, three, four. We have nine currently. So I'm going to to ferry. Hey, track team, day's going real good. It's a nice Sunday, so fun day. All right, and discovery. Yeah, these are good. Then end step, untap. Two lands and contempt this thing. <laughs> Thanks, track team. Yep, tomorrow's going to be the birthday. Um... And we're going to do a 12 hour stream tomorrow, as you can see. This is hardly my worst defeat. Um. Do I want to keep the Mortify? I'm going to shuffle. Actually, come to think of it, I think I would like a land. Oh, well. We can like make them discard. Perfect. We can get rid of their their whole hand. Make them discard. Make them discard. Bolus. Make them discard. Um, so we're at 29 cards in the library. Oh my gosh. I need to play my water grave first. Uh, auto tap. 
I'm not gonna. I, I wanted to Kaya's wrath. Dragons when I was truly fighting ants. All right. I'll just get this Vraska. Vraska's pretty cool. We don't need a Kai's Wrath. I'll just take the Vraska. Have Mortify up. Tick up Vraska to, you know, make a 2-2. Two -two. Um... I don't know if I have a specific deck that I really prefer Angrath in. I like Angrath. I like Angrath a whole lot too. I guess I have a. I have like this same deck, but Grixis. So like, if you don't want to get greedy with the white, it's just Grixis. And I have three Angraths in that deck. Um, this deck, of course, the white you know gives us not only a way to deal with enchantments with Mortify, but then a really good sweeper with Kai's Wrath, and also an amazing card with the Fairy. So this is the the more greedy version to fit all those in. Um, I'm not sure if I really want to sideboard in this matchup, honestly. Kind of like what we got going on here. Our opponent's going to have a whole, a whole lot of good cards against us after sideboard. Um, like so, they'll be they'll be bringing in their own Thief of Sanities, uh, most certainly. So maybe I want this extra moment of craving, another two mana card that deals with Thief of Sanity. Maybe I just play that over a Mortify. Yeah, maybe I just kind of change that one little thing. The planeswalkers are going to be tough though. Like that's that's all that's always the toughest thing is they resolve Vraska, Vivian, things like that. Hey Abigail. Yeah, there you go. Yep, there's the YouTube channel. Always got all these all these replays up on YouTube if you miss anything. YouTube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. You can find us there. All right, turn two as Kanta again. That is going to be really nice. Hey, Redgrave. Aw. Glad y'all like the screen. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I just realized our post name is Gold, Gold Gary. <laughs> Oh, that is pretty good. Um, I guess we're going to go Graveyard because it's not a red source. And we'll probably find another... Probably be able to find another... Um, land. That is a red source. Do I want to keep it, though? Midnight Reaper is annoying. I guess I should probably just keep it. Just in case. Angrath is good at taking Midnight Reaper and, you know, us, to, us drawing the card instead of them. So we have three cards in the graveyard now for Ascanta. Our opponent also had multiple... Multiple Assassin's Trophies. Last game. That's tough. Hmm. Do I want to Kaya's Wrath away to Midnight Reapers and let them draw four cards? Or I'm taking a hit for six down to 11. Next turn, playing Angrath, stealing one, sacking it, going to 10. They still get to attack again. They may play another creature the next turn. If I don't Kaya's Wrath, our life total is going to be under duress big time. So I guess I'm going to just bite the bullet here. And let them draw four. That second Midnight Reaper was really good. Gonna find them both back. 
Uh, Alright, well now we get to Angraph Steel. It's a pretty good card. Never seen your crew for my freedom? <laughs> kind of the problem is I don't really have a removal spell for like the next Midnight Reaper. Like, oh well there we go. I was going to say the, the Angrath is going to be... Like our Angrath is probably not very long for this world. I would love it if my opponent just like contempts the Angrath. And like takes their turn doing that. Okay. Well, I have a contempt for that. I despise tyrants like you. Oh, I'm just getting started. Okay. And they're not making a 2-2. So I have to worry about killing Angrath. So that's good. I don't have another land drop though. No fire, no steel. All right, one of our top three cards has to be a land. So I need to hit land drops. Do they have spell pierce? Okay, that's a land. Um, do I want nickel bolus? My girl. Probably. Mickey B is pretty good. So I'll have six mana next turn. What's my play? Like, Bolus plus Thought Erasure? Alright, maybe not. Back to the ship! That's true. That's a good point there, Tatter, that... Putting the, the bolus in the bin does make hitting a land drop quite a bit easier for us this next turn. No, that's another bolus gone though. Ugh. And then they play Midnight Reaper. That's a good turn for the opponent. Their hand's going to be gone though. But so is mine. They may they may have trophy, actually. Kind of looks like they may have trophy. Yeah, <laughs> who's the real discard deck here? No fire, no steel. Ugh. Where's that nickel bolus? Why did I why did I bin it? Why did I bin that bolus? Alright, so they have a Midnight Reaper and they get to start drawing and I have a disinformation I have a disinformation campaign, they have a Midnight Reaper. I've weathered tougher storms than you. Unfortunately, a lot of my top end's already gone. Two Bolas, one Angrath, one Teferi. Oh, wow. What a draw. What a top card. That's pretty good. Okay, let's let's keep the the nickel bolus next time. Keeping that nickel bolus would have been a lot better. Um, so they have eldest reborn. Also, yeah, a big thing there. Yeah, they drew gas really. But like a big thing there was having double midnight reaper and me Kai's wrathing those away. Um, Midnight Reaper in general, and then, you know, they got to find both of them back. That was really, just a really strong card.
hard that game. They got so many cards from it. So should I should I bring back Mortify over a moment with Eldest Reborn in the in the mix? Nah. Yeah, Disdainful Stroke is is nice. You do have to like keep up mana for Disdainful Stroke and everything, and that's that's not really what my deck's all about. Not in this matchup. I'm just going to be t tapping out so much. When it yes, when when Krasis is on the battlefield, it counts as a two mana card. When it is, oh, this is tough. All right, I guess I'm just gonna have the search. I, like I kind of want to just do this and just draw the moment of craving, so that my opponent can't uh, thought erasure away as Kanta. Like if they're gonna have thought erasure next turn, I like I don't want them to take as Kanta, right? Like basically that's what I'm saying. I really want to play as Kanta next turn. So do I put this crappy moment of craving that I don't want into my hand to make sure that they can't take as Kanta away? No. No, we'll just take the. Take the Ascanta. Good. Please don't kill my Ascanta this time. That was something they did last time that was really rude. Yeah, I don't think that they're very likely to cast Thought Erasure because. I don't even know if they have even have four, and then also having like the, you know, the blue mana right there. I didn't think it was like super likely. Hmm. Easy play is Contempt Midnight Reaper. That's the easy play. The problem is I only have two Contempts in my deck, so if I do that, any Resolve Planeswalkers are a huge problem. Uh, we'll deal with that later. I have Teferis as well that can deal with Planeswalkers. But we'll just get that out of here so they, they don't draw a card, they don't... They're not able to find finality yet. It's just gone for good. Good. Spell. Not. I don't want them getting free lands. Good. I, I like them having the spell. Even though Teferi, you know, gets contempted. Dang it. It still draws us a card, so it still, like, eats the contempt and draws a card. Please don't frasco away my search for Escanta. I could have been to the campaign and, and flipped Escanta here. We'll see if that costs me. Um, maybe that's a little greedy keeping the campaign on top. I don't have any counter spells, no. There are some in the sideboard. There's sideboard stainful strokes and negates, but I don't have any of those in my deck right now. Uh, that's a real big problem. Why are we playing against the one Sultai player that's playing all these Assassin's Trophies? Without any basic lands.
Would you like to see what's left of And I can't deal with Vivian anymore. Feel the wrath of Scala. Ugh. You can't stop nature. Thanks, movie star. I don't know why they didn't play their crisis there. Just because I have removal spells they know about? Here be monsters. No fire, no steel. Discarding Krasis. You best start thinking fast. You're on your own. That's interesting. What's their other card? Their time stopped. I guess their other card is probably an, an Assassin's Trophy. Come to me. Maybe they're considering trophying the land. The Clifftop Retreat would be the land there. Called it. It was trophy. They didn't cast the trophy because they're uh, activating their memorial to folly here. I'm gonna take this. I've seen things that would break someone like you. We'll kind of see. I'm going to wait till end step. Let's kind of make a decision here. So, I has four cards in hand. I don't get to tuck Vivian, which is what I really want to do. I just don't get to, though, because of the crisis and not drawing a land. I'm not done yet. Um. If we would have drawn that land. Uh, we could have been able to tuck Vivian and cast down the Krasis. The wilds are my shield. Movie star, you are so kind. Gifting out some subs. Yeah, Santa movie star. Thank you, Movie Star. So, if you are one of the uh, five new subscribers here, uh, Sam97160, Avoy the, the Best, Kyber, um, I guess I probably should have held that one onto my hand, but I don't think it really matters. Well, we'll see. Um, Swamp Spirit or Papa Popper. That's a good name, Papa Popper. Hope you enjoyed the new emotes. Hope we get to use those. Meet my newest friend. All right, and that also means that with the five subs getting us to our next sub goal, we are going to be cracking a pack after this. All hands on deck. Phone had a little bit too much for us. Oh, actually, it says 85. Um, both cutie pie. 
All right, let's crack a pack open. So let's get a Rivals of Ixalan pack and see if we get a Storm the Vault. That's the goal. Once we get four Storm the Vaults, we're going to be making some kind of Storm the Vault deck. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but we'll see. Protein Raider. Gotta watch out for the Protein Raider. You got your, your protein powder just kind of sitting about. It'll raid it. All right, 0 and 1. It's going to be a really tough matchup for us. Our, our opponent kind of had everything for us. You know, like the Thought Erasures our, our opponent had. Um, and the Assassin's Trophies. You know, Golgari already. Like, I think we... We kind of have a lot of good stuff for Golgari. Like, I, I like our game plan with the disinformation campaigns and everything. But when they add in counter magic, discard, and also, um, and you know, like they have like multiple planeswalkers, like them having Frasca also to go with Vivian. Uh, and then Assassin's Trophy, you know, they had two of those main deck against our deck with no basics, you know, destroying Maya's Cantus. That was tough. That was tough. So let's give it another try. I like our opening hand here, but unfortunately we're on the draw. Hmm. If I lead with Hallowed Fountain, I don't get to play Dragon Skull Summit on turn two. Um, so I'd have to shock to be able to cast cast down with the Godless Shrine. So leading with Godless Shrine means we can Dragon Skull Summit on turn two and not have to shock. Although we're probably shocking on turn three for campaign anyway. That's true, it's Golgari. Forgot about that. Yeah, we Our opponent did Golga Golgari us pretty good. And we just had that third game we just kinda drew too much creature removal. And our opponent did not have enough creatures. They had a lot of spells. Did not work out for us. Golgari, what do they get from Allegiance? They get access to the color blue. Everybody's just playing blue with Golgari. Uh... And so that gives them um, negate uh, um, hydroid crisis, thought erasure, thief of sanity, a lot of good stuff. Our opponent just didn't play anything here. They got more tricksters or something. I saw they banned Nexus of Fate in Arena. So they it's only banned in Arena standard is what they called it, but it's best of one standard is what it's banned in. So like the best of one format on Arena. Um, so not not in like best of three, like we could still be playing in best of three and so on. Um, was there any a time in events where you had a judge rule on someone stalling? No. It's something that, like, you know, communicated really well with, um, with opponents about it. Especially how I played uh, a deck called Green White Value Town in Modern that could take a very, very long time to win games. Um, and especially against, like, other mid range decks like Jeskai Control. Which I guess that's not mid-range deck, that's control deck. But against stuff like Jeskai Control or Jund or Abzan mid-range, um, the games could go really, really long. And so just just up front, you know, turn one, turn two of the game, when I notice my opponent playing it, yeah, more like turn two, turn three, when I notice that they're playing those kind of decks, I would just, you know, let them know. Um, I'll just be upfront about it, be like, hey, like this this match is gonna take a long time, you know. Sorry about that. If you hold that thought, I explain that it takes a long time for my deck to win, and so that we're gonna have to play pretty fast to be able to get three games in. Not necessarily pretty fast, but at a at a good pace. Like we like can't uh, take a long 
a super long time on decisions and stuff. And if I had opponents that that were taking a while like that, I would kind of remind B. them and stuff. And never really had a problem with it with that because I was just um, upfront about it and proactive about it, and it would work out. No time for a break. That's a good card. Yeah, you know, I was thinking that I was gonna have to um, Nicol Bolas here, but we just get to Kai's Wrath, and that's game. Okay, so our opponent didn't see any red cards from us. But they're probably just bringing in like some counter magic to be able to back up um, their creatures. And making a thumbnail for the Mardu midrange deck for YouTube. There we go. All right, what do I got? I got one minute to bring in two Clarions, one Moment of Craving. I don't think I need Bell Haunts. Could be wrong, though. I just kind of trim some campaigns. I trim a Discovery. One Discovery, two campaigns. Um, I just take campaigns out completely. I guess I'll bring in a couple Bell Haunts. Over campaigns. <laughs> Thanks, movie star. <laughs> Why not add green? Uh, there's not too much in green that I necessarily want to add. Um, I guess it could be like Hydroid Crisis. Could be the green splash. All right, keep it a risky one, but that's kind of our deck is risky. We do for sure have Moment of Craving, but if we just draw one white source, the Deafening Clarion is going to be pretty good for us. So, you know, all we want to do is draw white mana from here. White mana. Not, not blue mana. Why would I want to draw blue mana? I'm gonna draw white mana. <laughs> Huatli Snubhorn should not be banned. I do not believe it is banned. Alright, I really need this white mana for this Mortify. I wanna Mortify these things. Ugh, nah, did not get there. I'm not using a Moment of Craving on the Kumena speaker to start preventing one damage and let them draw a card with Shaper Sanctuary. Kill the deeper delete though. I could see this eating a spell pierce too, which would be good for me. Oh, it dive down. That's eh, it's a little worse. Alright, we need the white mana this turn. Did not get it. Need it for Clarion. So, Risky Keep. Did not get the white mana we needed in our f first four draw steps. I'm putting that fourth Discovery back in the deck.
Right, this same kind of thing, but we at least have the um, we at least have some uh, velocity through the deck to find white mana this time, which didn't have last time. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we did have one more turn. If, if our opponent didn't draw a single spell, like if they didn't have a single other Merfolk to play. Where's our white mana? I have a lot of white sources in this deck, right? Well... A lot ish, you know, for a four color deck. Um, five, eight, twelve, sixteen. Yeah, I have sixteen. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good number. Certainly seem to have like dive down again. We're gonna cast Thought Erasure. Cause we get to instead of moment of craving. That's fine. I'd rather I'd rather Thought Erasure get Spell Pierce than Clarion. There it is. Finally, now, do I Clarion now, or do I just destroy this Deep Root Waters? That's the question. I kind of want to Clarion now, because we still have Kaya's Wraths for other creatures. Because these things, hmm... Tough call. I was saying Deep Root. So if I if I kill Deep Root, they play Merfolk Mistbinder, let's say. Um, then they make this like to be like a 4-4, four, because four, they could put a counter on this. So that's like a 4-4 four, four, and a 3-2, and I'm taking 7. And now my Clarion doesn't kill the Deep Root Elite anymore. I guess we're still fine, because I can Clarion and Moment of Craving it. I kind of feel like I should just cast this because I have like all the other sweepers for the other one ones. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going this. Because so they just go like Merfolk Mistbinder here. I can mortify the Deep Root and Moment of Craving the Mistbinder, uh, even if we don't draw a land, um, because the as Canta can flip. mana. Blech. Blech. I guess I should have just, I should have just mortified the stupid merfolk instead of the deep root waters. I guess I need to just kill the Need to kill the Lord. Yeah, really good hands there for for the opponent. 
those two games, uh, especially that, that third game, really good hand. I just got... I got tripped up for too long with the uh, mana, which can, you know, which can happen. Like I was saying, we're a really greedy deck. Um, that can certainly happen. Yeah, zero win. We had the O2 happen to us there with the four color discard. Which, you know, we won game one both times also. We won game one pretty convincingly and then lost games two and three. Kind of where control is, though. Um, these, you know, green creature decks that are aggressive and have blue to back them up with counter magic is tough. That's a that's a tough combination. Um, get on the battlefield quickly and then counter the bigger spells from control. It's a it's a good way to win. Um, So, quick league here with four color discard. But we'll be back with it. We'll be back with it later. Um, if you're watching this later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's definitely possible I should have just brought in all the Basilica Bell Haunts. It's certainly possible I should have just taken out Angrath for Bell Haunt, considering they're going to be a negate spell pierce. So I could have I could have just sideboarded better, I think. We obviously didn't have double white to ever cast it, but I probably should have just brought him in. No, I haven't tried that. Meaty meaty. I haven't tried that deck. Um But yeah, there we go. Alright, so thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.